the Oracle Network. We're all in this together. We're going to have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? Dinner was full! Ah, uh, yeah. You checked our shitters, honey? Clark. Happy holidays and welcome to Brew Crime, the podcast where we drink brews and talk about crime, conspiracies, or whatever catches our attention. I am JT and joined by my co-host, Mike, and our special guest host, Eric Carter Lundin. <laughs> <laughs> Eric is from True Consequences and Dos Pequeños. Yes. And uh, they're fantastic and you should check them out. Um, so here, here is a story that I am calling the greatest hazards. So Ooh. I have a question for you: What were you both doing around the ages of seventeen to nineteen? Probably in high school, hating life. I don't know. I was working at Subway. I was an artist of sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Broad nice. brush strokes. Broad strokes. <laughs> I had my first real like real job where it wasn't under the table at a liquor store at 19. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what, I feel like your whole life is on brand for brew crime, my friend. <laughs> All of it. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So two brothers, Anthony Gamble, 19, and Joshua Gamble, 17, have been charged with criminal homicide after cops stumbled on them trying to dump a dead body in the woods in Pennsylvania. Oh, Jesus. So how did the cops simply stumble onto the scene, you ask? I totally heard it. Uh, well, the boys were being cautious, and they left their hazard lights on after parking on the side of the road. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> yeah. Are you um, guys over, okay over there? <laughs> hey, safety first when committing crime. Yeah, safety of course. first. That, that, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. So they... Uh, the troopers pulled over to check on what they thought was a disabled vehicle on the side of a Richland Township road. They approached the Subaru and a parked Audi and found Joshua Gamble lying on the ground in the woods. He was wearing a glove and a bloody shoe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Um, when he was detained, they found his brother running to the car. He don't, was be also wearing... don't, don't be suspicious. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the sad part is he was also wearing bloodstained clothes and was carrying gloves, which at this point, the gloves aren't going to save you. So I am suspicious. I am suspicious. <laughs> I am suspicious. <laughs> I am suspicious. I am suspicious. So my real question is, why don't you just leave the gloves where you left everything else? Like, Burn them. Whatever. Burn the gloves. <laughs> Burn the witch. Exactly. Um, so both of do they float? Both of these kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's a witch. <laughs> That's a witch. I picture they wish they had one. So both these kids, because at this point everyone in my life is a ch child, they were charged as adults and were taken into custody. So this was kind of rightfully so, because the troopers found a man's body in the woods near one of the vehicles. The Audi had blood in it and a large knife on the passenger side floor. That's not good. Right. Quote, so the initial investigation indicated that the unidentified male appeared to have stab wounds about his head, neck, upper chest, and arm. So this wasn't just like, a oh, shit. <laughs> you know, which is kind of hard to say, oh, shit, to stab somebody. But this yeah. was like a, a Halloween it's not, style. It's not weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> Timely no. humor for you, Zennials. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you got to do a quick goog, look at the trailer, and then tell us how much you hate it. That's what we want. The yeah. end. So <laughs> once they were taken into custody, they were charged with criminal homicide, criminal conspiracy, possession of an instrument of crime, and tempering with evidence. Quite a list for two kids uh, who just started being able to vote. Did they and get the death penalty? I don't have the end of that. That's not okay. the point of Hoppy Holidays. <laughs> I, I love the fact that it's instruments of crime and not just a fucking weapon. 
Yeah. Is this like Europe or something? Is this England writing this? It's Pennsylvania. This is my so French it's... horn of murder. <laughs> it's Pennsylvania, and they are stuck so much further back in history than even England that. Eh. It's um, my cello of fear. <laughs> cello. <laughs> so. No? so no. They just okay. need some cello of mellow. <laughs> So what, so what is Brew Crime trying to tell you? What are we trying to teach you? We're trying to no tell idea. you that if, oh. if you pull off on the side of the road, hazards are great. In fact, they can be life-saving, unless you're taking a life. In that case, you've thrown all caution and law to the wind, and you should let it lay right there. Also, when it comes to murder, just don't. Yeah. 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 You know, Whatever the problem is, just let it go. Be a good person. Let it go. Let's let it go. <laughs> let it go. You knew you were gonna do it. You knew you knew it was gonna happen. I didn't want to do it, but I wanted someone else to. <laughs> we knew it was gonna be you. Yep. I am that I am that guy. Yeah. I'm I'm stuck in the middle with you. I've still never uh, seen Frozen. <laughs> oh, you're missing out. No. <laughs> you were missing out the first time I saw it. The hundredth yeah. time I saw it, less missing out. Yeah. So more well, more uh, murderous rage. <laughs> <laughs> well everybody thank you so much for listening to this episode of happy holidays eric thank you for joining us we'll probably see you a couple more times hopefully maybe and uh you can check eric out again on true consequences and dos pequeños so check it out check them out whoop, whoop. check us out on all our socials at brew crime brewcrime.com patreon check us out at brew crime there as well i'm at jt brews crime mike you are at brew crime on twitter right yes i yep. am Love us, rate us, review us. We love you. Bye. Bye.